Abu left his newspaper on the table. Miss takes Manhattan. Possible biological warfare? Something's great, Mom! Are you sure this is good for me? <laughs> you bet it is, honey. It's the tastiest part of a balanced breakfast. GMOs, natural goodness, with just a little help from science. Today in Spotlight on Jersey City. Tragedy was averted at a dockside party last night when a woman dressed as Ms. Marvel rescued a teen girl mm -hmm. who had fallen into the river during a bizarre outbreak of ground fog that covered Manhattan, Newark, and Jersey City last night. Our crew is standing by at the home of Zoe Zimmer, whose life was saved by the costumed heroine. If Ms. Marvel hadn't been there, I would be totally dead right now. I feel like I've learned so much from her about being responsible and helping people and stuff. But questions remain. Has Carol Danvers returned to her old alias? Was this a copycat? Is a new costumed hero patrolling Jersey City's waterfront? The Avengers could not be reached for... I am so dead. Where were you last night, Vic? Mom and Pop freaked out when that mist was everywhere and you weren't answering your phone. I thought it was like terrorists or something. Psst, terrorists can't hurt me, bro. If I get in trouble, I'll just send that new Miss Marvel a text. That doesn't even make sense. You better call Mom. Later. She still talked about my earring. Man, look at the JC Electronics store window. That Miss Marvel self it is on every screen. Fear the mist! Man, people are really losing it over this mist thing. I saw the army surplus store was hawking gas masks out front. Oh, sweet! Everybody in Jersey City is talking about the new Ms. Marvel, yet I still don't know how or why this is happening. I spend the rest of Saturday morning before Muzz did, hunched over my laptop. Red scarf around my neck, saggy winged sloth plushie by my side. Superpowers. Mm. Shape-shifting powers. <sighs> Woke up as a polymorph. And beginning. Ugh, come on, interwebs, don't fail me now. I can't be the first person this has happened to. Kamala, ready to go? Yes! Ready, ready for life! Amir is wearing his usual mustard ensemble. White topi on his head, so Larkamis below, but with a thrift store jacket over it. Are you okay? I mean, aside from being in the worst trouble of your life with Ami and Abu. I'm fine. Let's go. We're going to be late for Sheikh Abdullah's Saturday youth lecture. Yeah. I know how much you look forward to those. The Islamic Masjid of Jersey City is a two-story brick building with a faux Greek facade of white stone and green oxidized copper. There's no dome like an eastern mosque would have. That's because this was once a small meeting hall or Masonic lodge or something, repurposed for Muslim worship. It's definitely seen better days. The sign over the door is in English and Arabic. So remember, dear young brothers and sisters, as the hadith of Rasul Allah tells us, when an unmarried man and a woman are alone together, the third is shaitan. Inside, the boys and girls are separated by a partition. On the women's side of the mosque, I'm sitting cross-legged and barefoot on a prayer rug with six other girls, one of whom is checking her text messages. I've got my scarf over my head now as a hijab, like all the other girls. We all have our headscarfs on. Nakia sits next to me, and seems to actually be paying attention. Guard your chastity, my young friend. Wow, he's really on fire today. Yeah. Hey, Nakia. Hmm? Do you think it's possible for a person to just... wake up different? Like all of a sudden the normal rules of physics don't apply? What? What are you talking about? Did you take drugs or something? What? No! It's just a metaphor. Sisters, no talking during the lecture, please. <laughs> Sorry, Sheikh Abdullah, but it's really hard to concentrate when we can't even see you. 
Ah, Sister Kamala, how glad I am that you've joined us today. The partition and the side entrance for women are there to preserve your modesty and dignity. But didn't you tell us there was no partition at the Prophet's Mosque in Medina? That men and women went through the same door and sat in the same room? Yes, but those were blessed times, free from today's scandal and temptation. Look Come everywhere around you. Come on, let's get out of here. I can't. I'm supposed to go straight home with my brother. My parents are totally on the war path. We'll just go to the Circle Q for a radioactive Razzleberry Squishy. We'll be back before the lecture is over. I mean, it's not like they're going to notice we're gone. So what were you saying about physics or whatever? And where were you last night? I sent you like five texts and you never wrote back. The answer to both of those questions is the same. That's deep. I'm serious. Something happened last night, and I still have no idea what to think about it. And I'm afraid I've gotten myself into for real rest of my life trouble. Either that or I'm about to have the most amazing life any girl from Jersey City ever had. Oh my god! You totally kissed a boy! Ew! What? No! Hey guys, what's up? Crap. Bruno, is he seriously going to pretend nothing happened? He told my parents I snuck out to that party. Does he think he's my honorary curfew enforcer or something? You know what? I don't really want to squish you right now. I'll see you at school on Monday, Nakia. Okay. Uh, bye. Okay, she's totally ignoring me. I wish Bruno would just get the message and leave me alone. Even if we are in the science lab. I'm doing some personal research on one of the lab computers, three tables away from where Bruno's younger brother Vic is leaning over the counter across from him. Bruno sits beside a chemistry set. There's translucent goo oozing out of a beaker, sitting over a Bunsen burner next to him. I mean, she has completely turned around like I'm not even here. Drag. Hey, I need a hundred bucks. Don't have it. Dude, I know that. But you could get it from the cash register at Circle Q, no problem. You want me to steal from my job? You work there. It's not stealing. Vic, if you want my brother, I'd knock some sense into that box of styrofoam you call a brain. Yeah, we all know we got the brains in the family. So what is this stuff you're working on? Super snap? <laughs> it's a biokinetic polymer. If you put it on something flexible, like cloth or whatever, it makes it stretchier. A lot stretchier. I feel the weird tension in my skin again. It's like a full-body migraine. I wish Bruno would just go away. I wish my parents weren't so mad at me. I wish I could get something besides World of Battlecraft strategy guides when I Google polymorph. <sighs> my hand! No, no, not here! I run to the door, hugging my enlarging hand to my chest. Kamala? Just leave me alone! Hey! Thank God the hallway's empty. Shrink, shrink, shrink! <sighs> now my hand is tiny! <gasps> it's the girls lacrosse team coming down the hall. I head into the gym. I sprint towards the girls' locker room. Come on, come on! <sighs> hey, my monkey's paw is normal size. Thank you, weird hand. Thank you. I have got to get control of this thing. I mean, I know I can control it. I controlled it last night when I had to. I know I can shrink. So in theory, I can also do this. <laughs> My head. But hey, I'm giant girl. Okay, force equals mass times acceleration. So more mass equals. I wrap one hand around the wooden bench nearest me. More force. Righteous. And back down to Kamala's size. Now, can I look like anybody? Or just Carol Danvers Redux? Like, for example, could I look like... I look in the wall mirror. Ami? I was totally going for Taylor Swift! This is getting Freudian. What's going on in there? Ah! It sounded like an earthquake a minute ago. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it! Ah. Whoa! Kamala Khan! Totes devastation. What the heck happened in here? I... I just... found it like this. A likely story. 
You know students aren't allowed in here outside of gym class. I think you've earned a detention. Detention? But my parents are already mad at me. Out. Back to class. I'll see you after school. 3 p.m. sharp. And I'm surprised at you, Kamala. You're usually so responsible. <sighs> Tell me about it. And then, Ms. Marvel looked me in the eye and said, Zoe, I know you're better than this. Like she could see into my soul. Wow, that is totally intense. Kamala! Hi, Zoe. Oh my god, Kamala, you will not believe what happened after you left the party on Friday night. Have you seen the news? Zoe is famous! Yeah, I heard. So here I am, detention, with all the other detainees. One kid has a black eye. The kid in front of me has a sign on his back that says, I cheated on Mr. DeLuca's math exam. Mock me. I'm ducked behind him, trying not to be noticed by the coach at the desk up front. Sorry, Ami. Can you shut up this guy? No, I just lost track of time. No, I'm not becoming a degenerate. No talking, Ms. Khan. Sorry, coach. I'll be home soon, Ami. Bye. <sighs> it's a text message from Bruno. Can we talk? Working at Circle Q till 6 p.m. Please come. I guess there's no putting this off. I text him back. Okay. It's almost twilight already, since daylight savings is over. The air is golden and everything is softened as I ponder my way down through the mixed residential commercial neighborhood from Cole's Academic. It's only a few blocks to the Circle Q. My carry bag slung over a shoulder, I pass row houses above small grocery stores, a locksmith, a dry cleaners. What does it mean to have powers? To be able to look like someone I'm not? What if I don't fit into my old life anymore? Like it's a pair of pants I've just outgrown. Would I still be Kamala? I wish I could talk to somebody about all this. Tell somebody that I'm equal parts amazed and terrified. Bruno would understand. Or try to, anyway. I wish I wasn't still so angry at him. I pause outside the circle queue, stealing myself. I'm not sure who owes who an apology, but somebody's gonna come out of this really sorry. Okay, I'll just say, Bruno, I was really pissed at you all weekend, but I've thought about it and... You told me that was up, dude. There's a guy in a full-face ski mask waving a gun around in front of Bruno. I flatten myself against the doorframe. Oh my god, somebody's trying to stick up the circle queue. What do I do? What do I do? Stop, drop, and roll? No, that's fire. <sighs> 911! <gasps> Dead battery? Are you kidding me? No! Wait a minute. I have superpowers. I saved somebody's life last night. I am 911. But but everybody's expecting Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel from the news, with the hair and the spandex and the Avenger swag. Not a 16-year-old brown girl with a 9 p.m. curfew. I peek around the door. Inside, the robber is gesturing wildly with his gun, like he doesn't care if it goes off or not. Through the glass, I can't hear what they're saying. <sighs> okay, too late for second thoughts. Don't worry, Bruno. Help is on the way. You weren't supposed to be here, man. I thought Chatty Bob had this shit. I switched with him. This is the dumbest thing you've ever done, dude. You're lucky I don't call the cops. It'd serve you right. Where did you get that thing anyway? You don't even know how to use a gun. You're right. It's not even loaded. Look, this is your fault, man. If you'd help me like I asked you to, it wouldn't come to this. But you just made me feel like crap, as always. When the inventor comes... Things are gonna change. You'll have to start treating me with respect. Inventor? What inventor? Put the gun down and step away from the cashier. You wanna be hipster punk? Strange things are afoot at the Circle Q. Hey! Who you calling a hipster, lady? Wait, stop! Ha! You missed me! You should have stuck to rescuing bimbos, lady! That hurt! I wrap my giant hand around the punk and lift him off the ground. Wait! This is a mistake! He, he's uh, right! Let me go! I'm sorry! You should be sorry. It's not nice to rob innocent, defenseless convenience stores. You're right! I, I let it go too far! Just put me down! 
I squeezed him really hard. I'll put you down if you promise to leave and never come back. I, I promise. This feels great. This feels right. I just stopped something terrible from happening. Stop struggling. I'm putting you down already. These powers mean something. Something scary, but good. And for the first time, I feel big enough for this. Big enough to have greatness in me. Big enough to do anything. <gasps> But I thought... Oh no. No, 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 no!